Okay, it's time to calculate the pH of a weak acid. Classic examples of weak acids. Well, I'll give one example. Ethanoic acid. We're dealing with weak bases. Classic example of a weak base will be ammonia. Now, the problem is with weak acids and weak bases is that they do not fully dissociate. So you've got to build in dissociation constants. No surprise here, Ka is our dissociation constant for an acid. If it was a base I was interested in, no surprise, Kb, where B would stand for a base. Now, I'm going to make up an example here. So I'm going to say 0.45 molar of a weak acid, which I'll just call HA, and it's got a Ka dissociation constant of 5 times 10 to the minus 7. Just made it up. How can I calculate pH? Well, the equation, if you remember from the lectures, well, we could do the quadratic equation way, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to do it the nice and easy way. pH equals a half pKa minus a half log C. Now, brackets are really important because it's going to stop accidents. C is going to stand for concentration. Not a problem. We've got 0.45 there. But how do I get Ka, pKa? How's all that coming about? If you remember from the lectures, you've got this Ka. It's a really small number and you get a real spread of different Ka values. So to make life easy, we log it. So if you remember that relationship, pKa equals minus log to the base 10 of your Ka. Okay, that's an important relationship. So let's calculate the pH. Let's get these numbers in. Well, let's convert this made up Ka into a pKa. So log 5, x squared minus 7, gives me 6, and I've got to take that minus off. So it's 6.3. So, but the equation says a half pKa. So 6.3 divided by 2 is 3.15. Close the bracket, put a minus in. Now, this is where you've got to be careful. We know the concentration is 0.45 molar. Also, the first thing I've got to do is log it. And it gives me a minus 0.3467 and so on and so on. What I don't want to do this time is take the minus off. If you look at this formula within those brackets, there's nothing there about minuses. The minus is outside. So I'll call it for argument's sake 0.35 to two decimal places. So minus 0.35, because remember it's a half log C, divided by 2 is minus 0.175. This is why you use brackets, to stop accidents, because we're going to have a minus a minus, which of course will become a plus. So 3.15 plus 0.175 equals, let's do this properly on the calculator, plus 0.175 gives us 3. 0.325. So as, like I said, you've got to be really careful. The reason why we use brackets like this is to stop accidents from happening. Because when we do this particular calculation, we'll end up minusing a minus, which of course becomes a plus.